Elon Musk, the CEO of SpaceX, has always been passionate about creating a colony on Mars. His vision is to create a self-sustaining colony that could support up to a million people, allowing mankind to become a multi-planetary species. This is undoubtedly Musk's most ambitious objective yet, and it could take him the next 30 years to achieve it. However, the question on everyone's mind is whether it's possible to colonize Mars or if Musk is simply too ambitious. To answer this question, we need to examine Musk's grand plan closely. So, let's dive right in and explore the brilliant mind of Elon Musk. However, before we begin our video, we would greatly appreciate it if you would subscribe to our YouTube channel and also press the bell icon. Let's get started. Elon Musk's ultimate objective of transforming mankind into a multi-planetary species is his most ambitious goal yet. He has compiled a list of justifications for why people must spread into the cosmos over the years. Musk frequently mentions that a catastrophe on Earth could lead to the end of civilization. However, if we establish a foothold on another planet like Mars, humanity may survive beyond the worst-case scenario of climate change. According to Musk, other potential disasters, such as a surprise meteor strike, could wipe out humanity. He tweeted in November 2021 that even though Earth is approximately 4 billion years old, life is still not multiplanetary, and it's uncertain how much time is left to achieve that goal. According to Musk, one of the reasons for humanity's expansion is that we are the protectors of life. The species we cherish cannot build spacecraft, but we can take them. Musk strongly advocates for human space exploration and believes that nearly 50 years have passed since the last time people visited the moon, which is too long. Elon Musk firmly believes that it's essential to establish a permanent presence on Mars. This time, it needs to be a sizable facility that is continuously inhabited. To become a spacefaring civilization and a multiplanetary species, we must first establish a colony on Mars. Musk has intended to build a thousand spaceships over 10 years and deliver 1 million people to Mars by 2050. He said the first person to set foot on Mars could do so as early as 2029. In addition to this, SpaceX is developing starships that can be quickly recycled, which could revolutionize space travel and enable fleets of them to sail between planets. The Space Corporation expects to launch their starship into orbit for the first time soon, subject to regulatory permission. However, it's essential to note that Mars colonization is not a task for the faint-hearted. Life on Mars will not be glamorous, especially at first. Instead, it will be risky, claustrophobic, challenging, and labor-intensive. Living in Antarctica is challenging, but living on Mars is even tougher. Despite having an average temperature of negative 70 degrees Fahrenheit, which is only 10 degrees lower than that of Antarctica, Mars has a rough surface dotted with canyons and volcanoes. Additionally, the planet's gravity is only one-third that of Earth's, and its atmosphere is too thin for humans to breathe. The low air pressure on Mars means that a person without appropriate equipment would perish in a matter of minutes. Despite these challenges, Elon Musk remains determined to establish a self-sustaining metropolis on Mars. In 2019, he projected that achieving this goal would take 1 million tons of cargo and cost between $100 billion and $10 trillion. To make the dream a reality, SpaceX plans to use a hypothetical ticket price of $100,000, which would be reasonably attained for the majority of people, to calculate a pricing point for future rockets to Mars. However, additional difficulties still lie ahead. Living on Mars might not be a walk in the park, the planet has a gravity of just 38% as strong as Earth's and an atmosphere mostly made up of carbon dioxide. The surface is also incredibly cold, with temperatures ranging from 35 degrees Celsius to negative 143 degrees Celsius. The average temperature on Mars is negative 63 degrees Celsius, making it uninhabitable for humans without appropriate gear. But Elon Musk still dreams of making Mars a livable planet. He thinks terraforming could be a solution, but he has also admitted 
that changing the atmosphere, temperature, and ecology of a planet like Mars to be Earth-like would be the equivalent of nuking it. In 2015, he proposed the idea of nuking the poles of Mars as a way of terraforming the planet. Terraforming Mars is an incredibly challenging undertaking. And using nuclear weapons to increase the planet's atmospheric pressure and melt its ice caps is just one proposed method. However, this plan is not without its drawbacks. The radiation from detonating thousands of nuclear bombs could render the planet's surface uninhabitable. In 2015, Elon Musk suggested a potential solution. Detonating nuclear bombs over Mars's polar caps, where the explosion would occur above the poles in space and not produce dangerous radiation levels. The heat released from the explosions would evaporate the frozen carbon dioxide, warming the planet's atmosphere and melting the water ice. Musk also mentioned the possibility of using two miniature pulsating suns to cover the areas and aid it in warming the planet's surface. So, Elon Musk has an interesting plan for Mars. He wants to use a huge fusion bomb to create little suns over the planet's poles. This would allow explorers to recharge using the materials they discover on Mars and then fly back to Earth using a starship fueled by liquid oxygen and methane. But that's not all. Musk also wants to create a network of recharging stations connecting several planets, allowing astronauts to travel even deeper into space. Despite some people thinking that Musk's interest in Mars would fade once SpaceX became a major player in the space industry, he has actually continued to invest more into the Red Planet. He repeats two main justifications for this. The lifeboat hypothesis, which suggests that a metropolis on Mars would ensure the survival of the human species in the event of a catastrophic disaster on Earth, and the excitement of space exploration. According to Musk, he plans to eventually have one million people living in a city on Mars. The first starship was originally slated to launch in 2022. So the plan is to send the first settlers to Mars in 2024, and they will arrive on two cargo and two cruise starships. These initial missions will focus on setting up the propellant factory, establishing an initial base, and securing water and energy sources. Then, in 2026, six starships would depart from Mars, carrying enough mass to complete the initial stages of building the city. This includes the propellant factory, solar panels, and other infrastructure needed to harvest resources, obtain water, and remove CO2 from the atmosphere. However, to ensure the colony can become more self-sufficient, the pioneers will also need to establish recycling program, build landing pads, create dwellings, set up greenhouses, and establish further life support programs. So, as more starships travel to and from Mars, the city will gradually expand from its initial bases. Elon Musk once responded to a question about early life on Mars by tweeting that it would begin with people living in glass domes. Still, eventually, the plan is to terraform the planet to make it more hospitable. For the city to be self-sufficient, it will need a diverse population, not just technical professionals like scientists and engineers. Immigrants may need to pay for their own travel expenses or take out a loan to travel to the colony if they can't afford the ticket price. In the past, some people were forced into indentured servitude until they repaid the loan. So while the early years on Mars may involve some challenges and difficulties, the benefits of a thriving economy and self-governing principles will be worth it. Establishing administrative mechanisms will help ensure that the city runs smoothly and efficiently. At the same time, the creation of self-governing principles will provide a framework for the development and growth of the Martian colony. And with SpaceX's commitment to creating its own set of regulations on Mars, the colony can operate independently and decide how best to govern itself. All of these factors will contribute to the long-term success and sustainability of the Martian supercolony. In the Starlink Agreement, it is acknowledged that Mars is a planet that is not subject to the jurisdiction or sovereignty of any government on Earth. Instead, conflicts on Mars will be settled based on self-governing rules that are established in good faith. SpaceX plans to use Starlink satellite constellations to provide internet access for the Martian colony. Currently, more than 800 satellites have been launched by Elon Musk's company for this purpose. However, it is important to note that space is considered free for all and to all according to the Declaration of Rights and Responsibilities of Humanity in the Universe. Neil deGrasse Tyson once suggested that advancements in space technology could eliminate a whole category of warfare. 
With the ability to travel further and extract resources from farther away, conflicts over resources may become a thing of the past. Predicting the future is hard, but we can always hope for a better tomorrow. And for the moment, we can entrust the future of space exploration to one of the wealthiest individuals on the planet. That's it for today. We hope you found our video interesting. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and share it with others. Also, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to our channel. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our new uploads. In the end, thanks for watching and see you next time.